Willie D. Live. A real one. A one who will go on his shield gladly. That's why you don't see no cameras in my hospital room. I don't need empathy. I want to be a blessing to people. And, and I'm going to be the miraculous miracle. One of the people that is so unexpected. Be like, this, him? Him? And it ain't going to just be me. It's going to be a coalition of people who believe for good, who have value in humanity, who don't just see money. I love money too, but it don't make me huck a buck and shuck a boo. And I'm the same dude with it or without it. Because you know what? When the feet first parted, I didn't have a dollar. When God first spoke to me, I had nothing. And I still feel like I have nothing. Because I'm nothing without him, but the real him. Not the religion, not the word. Even the word Christianity, unfortunately, bothers me. And I'm a Christian. Because it's, cause once it usurps, it can't handle. That's why God said, to whom much is given, much is required. If we have dominion over the earth and all there with therein, as the word says, what dominion does the church have in this, in this world right now? Jay-Z and Beyonce have more dominion than the church. And I hate to say that, but it's the truth. You can't get no youth to go to church really willingly, generally. But tell them Beyonce or Rihanna or, or, or somebody like that is, yes, sir. And there's nothing wrong with that. They make great music. They're phenomenal entertainers. But where's the balance in real life? Just like I wrote in my song, Pop, Solidarity, in 1990, we as a people got to find a better way. We know times are bad when babies are being raised by TV, which teaches racism, which teaches violence, and it's all for the love of money. They were like, bro, I don't care if I don't get props like Marvin Gaye, because my stuff ain't as good as Marvin Gaye. But it's the same heart, but nobody sees it, and that's cool. But there will come a time when people won't even know me for being a singer. It'll be shortly. Because just like you said, oh, I can listen to Chris sing, but truthfully, he all right. He ain't Luther. <laughs> He's all right. But I believe the greatest part of me is what is inside of me. I told this to my son. I said, son, I wanted to be the generational curse breaker because I never knew my father. But I was like, he, he was like, why you always put, I'm your hero, dad? Stop saying that because he calls me Mufasa. He's Simba. And little Chris is Copa. I'm a Leo, so it's like a lion thing. But the thing that he always tries to emphasize, like, Dad, I know you're not done, and I'm your son. But he, he even them don't realize I this platform I'm doing is not to get rich in music. It's not now, it is selfishly to go out on the right note. Because when I put this thing that God gave me down my career, which Yahweh said, I'm going to make an opportunity for you, I want to give him all the glory in the end. Because it ain't that I'm great or I'm so good. I'm just committed to my purpose. And just like David, people think, oh, you go to church and you get this, oh, boo-doo-doo, stick up, bop, bop, stick up. I'm somebody new. God don't make you new. He changes your heart. David did not change being David to slay the giant. He believed in the same shit he slayed the lion and tigers and bears with. He didn't change nothing. And he was denounced by his own father. Because when the prophet went in and he said, I'm looking for, the, I'm looking for the, the, the savior. Jesse said, everybody but David. Because he said, not the boy. But that's how God works.